good afternoon all uh, myself uh, dilip kumar sen uh, i am going to present uh, one of my paper titled uh, easm energy aware sink mobility algorithm to prolong network lifetime in wsm the outline of that uh, presentation is like this uh, the uh, earlier speaker uh, who has worked on uh, sensor networks uh, gave a brief overview of the applications uh, its uh, uh, typical network how it works etc so here uh, i'll start with uh, um, the issue of uh, energy conservation energy um, so depletion uh, these kind of issues the main the main reason for uh, energy depletion is that uh, uh, since uh, uh sensor network works with many to one uh, traffic approach the nodes near the sink uh, always gets uh, dry uh, uh due to large processing of uh, packets and the second uh, reason is that it is uh, basically they are lightweight nodes and the third reason is that they uh, process data redundantly the data itself uh, they are redundant when they are, the data moves towards the sink uh, more data uh, which are redundant will be processed by the nodes so energy dip, uh, energy depletion happens and the uh, another reason is that the formation of energy holes if any nodes dies and if it is not forwarding the, the data or any other of the regard of that matter the nodes uh, uh, will uh, not function properly and the forwarding of data will not happen so this uh, for, for, uh, this leads to formation of uh, <coughs> energy holes so these are the uh, typical uh, uh, reasons for uh, energy depletion so with this uh, motivation so we have uh, selected few papers uh, to to limit uh, we have selected some five papers out of this uh, the first paper uh, talks about uh, distributed algorithm for reconstruction of a tree uh, if a node uh, fails during the aggregation process and the second uh, paper uh, concerns on uh, creating a uh, shortest path by when the uh, node when the, when the sink node moves from one place to another it, it, it is more focused on reconstructing the uh, shortest path tree the third algorithm focuses on uh, um, uh, 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 like creating a routing protocol for delivering the message um, and the fourth paper is uh, our own paper uh, uh, so this paper divides uh, uh, the entire entire network into equal size zones so that you can distribute the network over the network and uh, so you can monitor the, all the activities of the network so uh, in, in the fifth paper we have, we have, we have this is also our own paper uh focus on finding the optimal multipath for from source to source with this limiting to these five uh, works and uh, uh, we came up with a uh, simple problem uh, of uh, the gathering data from all the nodes in the sensor network and once you collect the data you aggregate them so and then forward to the sink efficiently in a wireless sensor network so this uh, this is the problem with this for this problem the objectives are to uh, improve the lifetime of the network and to increase the amount of uh, data gathering as well as increase the data aggregation efficiency so with this problem and the given set of objectives we proposed uh, a network model of this kind so with we had a under under undirected network graph represented by g is equal to vertices and edges and then uh, the entire network was divided into uh, 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 it was considered like a grid and the like this uh, as it was shown in the in this figure where uh, uh, where uh, you can see a uh, entire network is like a grid and we have divided into equally sized zones uh, so that the number of uh, nodes are clustered physically and uh, for typical uh, for uh, simplicity we have assumed a sink uh, placed at in the center so that uh, it can uh, uh, it can collect data from uh, all the nodes of the network so with this um, there are some typical applications where uh, uh, there there will be static uh, uh, static nodes sensor nodes and uh, the uh, sink itself we can move from uh, one place to another place so here is it's a very simple uh, um, assumption of a network where there are uh, nine equally sized zones suppose if the if the, if the, if the number of uh, nodes are uh, uh, more than this of the of this this area the number of uh, sub grids will be more the number of uh, zones will be more and uh, this this has, has the possibility of uh, moving from one place here from one place uh, uh, to another place Uh, 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 at, 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 uh, during some uh, conditions so always the sink uh, sink uh, uh, moves towards the 
potential subgrid the potential in the, in the sense that where is the subgrid which has more energy so with this uh, the methodology is that uh, first the sink will understand uh, who are the first uh, one of neighbors using the hello message so with this hello message the neighbor sends their what is their residual energy to the sink so the sink now calculates the average residual energy of all its one of one of neighbors and also in a similar fashion it is it will also calculate the average residuality of all nodes in the subgrid so that each subgrid will have a residual energy of its uh, of, of, the, of the subgrid so based on these two parameters the one of neighbors and the residual energy of the subgrid the sink will categorize the energy level into four levels namely one is the adequate level uh, adequate well level level operation level warning level and danger level so these are been normalized from uh, uh, 0 to 100 percent like this um, similarly um, uh, the average residual energy of all the subgrids uh, is uh, re is g subscript r r g for i is equal to 1 to 8 that is uh, uh, if this is the uh, uh, what this is the uh, uh, thing and uh, the neighboring uh, subgrids are there are 8 8 in number so hence we uh, each uh, each of the uh, uh, grid will calculate its residual energy. So once the residency is, is calculated by uh, by e e each of the subgrid, the maximum of this is taken, is computed here. The max this is called the energy status. The energy status of the maximum of eight subgrids will be taken, and then so once it has, uh, then based on this energy status, the sink will decide whether to move to some position or not. So this energy status uh, will determine whether the sink has to move or not. So the overall idea is that let the uh, uh, sink move from one place to another place only if there is if the current subgrid do not have an adequate or operational energy level. Suppose if, though, if they do not have an adequate or operational sub energy level it moves to any one of the eight regions. So with this sink movement if the energy status is of the subgrid is at the uh, adequate or operational level then there will be no change in the current location of the sink. Otherwise if not the sink decides to relocate its uh, to a new potential subgrid that is the maximum residual residual energy. So it has eight options based on the maximum of any eight, eight, eight subgrids. It uh, may it, it it decides whether to move or not. Then uh, this uh, with this uh, with this simple idea, um, we have uh, uh, there are some simulated results. So this is using the um, MATLAB uh, toolkit. So this the overall idea is to make a statistical statistical analysis of uh, how the uh, number of nodes uh, how about the number of nodes how are the num number of what is the lifetime of the nodes with uh, so many number of nodes or what is the number of uh, sync moments like this so in earlier works there are like uh, in a, if, if, if a mobile uh, if, if a sync is mobile it moves uh, throughout throughout the network here in this case it is not recognized necessary to move from one place to another place uh, by the by the sync because the thing is that if it starts moving from one place to another place randomly or continuously the each time the routing tree or the trees has to be reconstructed. So re constructing a routing tree is not feasible because it has a lot of complexities and uh, um, a lot of uh, uh, competitions has to happen and reordering and restructuring should happen. So here the, uh, the sink will move only when the adequate uh, when there is a the energy status is not adequate or in the operational level. So with this results uh, the uh, the uh, y axis is normalized from uh, uh, 0 to 200 the number the, uh, the, the, the sorry uh, with, the, with the number of nodes uh, with the number of nodes in the y axis and uh, in the, with the number of uh, rounds uh, in this one this uh, uh, the uh, number of nodes which has de uh, depleted the average lifetime has increased in this work compared to the previous two work which has been considered in the literature. The second results talks about uh, uh, the energy in joules in the y axis and uh, the number of rounds uh, where the algorithm is run the comparison of residual energy where uh, this uh, ESM our algorithm has produced a slight, slight b b better results than the uh, uh, static sync approach. Uh, the third results the total amount of data gathered uh, which has been normalized from uh, 300 to 400 because a lot of uh, uh, data has been uh, collected only do during this uh, um, the, the, this one. The sync movement uh, as the time proceeds the number of uh, what the, the amount of data gathered by the sync also increase because we need to data gather data uh, from all the regions of the network by the sink. Uh, we conclude this uh, work by uh, um, stating that 
we have proposed an uh, energy aware string mobility routing algorithm to prolong the network lifetime, collect and aggregate data efficiently in a wireless sensor network. So, since it is uh, we have used uh, uh, BFS algorithm, uh, it which constructs a minimum spanning tree during the uh, root construction because uh, when a sink uh, moves from one place to play one subgrid to another subgrid, it has to reconstruct the spanning tree and of course, this uh, time complexity is uh, big O of uh, V plus E, the vertices and the edges. So, it is observed that the network, network lifetime, the residual energy and the amount of data collected as improvements over the other two algorithms. And uh, uh, to uh, again conclude, sync mobility, mobility is always application specific. If the application demands sync mobility, then it can be these kind of algorithms can be applied. Future work and of course, uh, this uh, basic idea of uh, moving uh, from one SIBRES subgrid to another subgrid is a very simple approach, but in the future in the in, in the future work we have ex we, we have already extended this work of predicting the average residual energy of all the subgrids in the network. Suppose if one say one sink can has the option of moving with, uh, with the uh, has the option of moving to another subgrid which has eight options. So if we consider more number of subgrids network as the as the network of the as the network increases or the size of the network increases, we need to predict if you go in this direction, what could be the residual energy? Or if you go, go in this direction, what could be the energy? So based on this, if you, if you could predict the subgrid of n steps, then it could be possible so that the sync will make a proper decision in using the uh, 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 residual energy of the node. So that if you do this, the entire balance, you can balance the amount of energy distributed over the network. So suppose if, if, the, if that, that, that is done, ultimately the network lifetime will definitely increase. So, this is the overall objective of this work. So, predict, predicting the residual energy of the entire network uh, is, uh, can be done using some uh, has been done using a machine uh, intelligence algorithm. Okay. Uh, uh, so, addressing delay, uh, delay in packet delivery and packet drops during reconstruction is also important which has to be considered and we are considered and uh, uh, shortly we are submitting that to a journal paper. So, these are the references, just uh, five references which I have uh, stated in the uh, literature survey and uh, the last two is our uh, uh, paperwork and the fifth paper is published in uh, WPC Springer in 2018. Thank you. I would like to